Bullfrog at Magnolia Circle by Deborah Dennard Illustrated by Kristen Kest Lightning zigzags through the early evening sky over the bayou, waters that slowly wind their way behind the white wooden house on Magnolia Circle. Thunder rumbles in the distance. The croaking of bullfrogs and the peeps and sounds of other frogs fill the air. In midwinter, Bullfrog emerged from his muddy winter retreat and silently waited for the warmth and rains of spring. Now in April, his throat yellow and bulging, he sings a sound like brrrm. After a summer and a fall as a tadpole, and over a year as a youngster, Bullfrog is now fully grown. Using his long, webbed back feet, he swims through the duckweed to the edge of the bayou. As Bullfrog pulls his long body up the bank of the bayou, a crayfish emerges from a chimney made of mud. In less than half a second, Bullfrog springs forward, his long sticky tongue shoots out, and he grabs the crayfish. The crayfish struggles, but Bullfrog uses his front legs to stuff the crustacean into his mouth. As he swallows, his large bulging eyeballs sink into his head to push the crayfish further down his throat. Rain cascades from the sky, soaking the earth. In the distance, by the large screened porch, huge oak trees covered with Spanish moss sway in the warm, heavy air. Bullfrog hops past the dock. He moves slowly, closing his eyes with each hop as the rain drips onto his smooth green skin. A bolt of lightning illuminates the sky. A few seconds later, a loud crash of thunder explodes. The warm, wet evening is perfect for Bullfrog to explore the bayou. Tonight, he will begin his search for a calling site, and then he can start singing to attract his first mate. A sphinx moth flutters past Bullfrog and lands on a blade of wild wheat near the water. Bullfrog sees the moth with his big, round eyes. In an instant, his long, sticky tongue brings the moth into his mouth, and it becomes part of his evening meal. As Bullfrog eats the moth, he does not notice the silent landing of a black-crowned heron. But the heron notices Bullfrog. A nice, fat, juicy bullfrog would satisfy a hungry heron. Ever so slowly, the heron stalks its prey. His neck is pulled back, and he is ready to make a swift killing stab. The heron moves slowly, closer, to unsuspecting bullfrog. Suddenly, a loud crash by the garage of the house echoes in the night. A fat raccoon scurries away from the trash lid she just knocked over. The loud noise startles both Bullfrog and the heron. Squawking a loud complaint, the heron takes to the air, leaving Bullfrog behind unharmed. The Bullfrog, startled by the departing heron, leaps into the water, but soon returns to the shore. He hears the clicking sounds of southern cricket frogs in the grass. One of the little frogs jumps. It lands just in front of Bullfrog. In less than a second, it is in Bullfrog's mouth. From the booming croaks all around, Bullfrog knows other male bullfrogs are nearby. While calling his mate, Bullfrog might have to wrestle with one of these males or he might simply do battle with his deep bass voice, calling and calling. Bullfrog hops back into the water and dives in, landing with a splash. A special layer of skin protects Bullfrog's open eyes so he can see underwater. 
He swims farther out into the bayou, through a cluster of water lilies. At the edge of the water lilies, he stops. He has been searching for a special place. This could be it. In this special place, he will attract a female bullfrog by calling to her in his deep voice. He rises to the surface, spreads his legs out, and floats effortlessly. His throat bulges. He croaks again and again. <coughs> the voices of other males join in, and a bass chorus fills the air. Soon, with luck, a female will hear Bullfrog and come to him. For now, he will stay close by his spot and call and wait in the bayou waters behind the white wooden house on Magnolia Circle. <laughs>